Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I will come to this issue just now. Let me answer the third question. Uh, a concern about democratic space shrinking you know colleagues Chilara. honestly I was hammering earlier about how you couldn't go to to, to to intercity how I could not even use airspace myself in the opposition I couldn't use airspace one time I was going to Chipata, I was detained on the runway there. And I deliberately told the pilot to take off. And I said to the commissioner of police then that I will sleep on this runway. Tell me where I need a passport. Do I need a passport to come into Chipata? And there was war in those hills in Chipata. Tear gas, gunshots to stop my freedom of movement. Have you seen Panga since we took office? Have you ever seen the way a Panga looks like? You've forgotten already. Where is Chilara? Ah, where now? Honestly, Chilara. Where now? Which democratic space are you talking about that is shrinking? There are by elections that have just passed. Three of them UPND won two. I think PF won one. Everybody was campaigning freely. Before that time, I was not allowed, she was not allowed to go to a place where the vice president or president was in the vicinity. I got gunshots 10 days before elections in Chingola. We haven't forgotten. We forgive, but we don't forget. That's the rule of engagement, eh? civilized human beings. We forgive, but we don't forget. <laughs> I had to sell that car. It ripped off the door handle of the seat where I was sitting. And I was only going to church on a Sunday morning in Chingola, 10, 11 days before elections. That was no democratic space. That was no freedom of movement. So, I'm not sure what you're talking about, or oh, those co co society members. I know you're asking on behalf of the people. Again, I'll say to what I said about poor. Sometimes refuse to ask questions in, in, on behalf of other people. Because you know it yourself, unless you live in a different country. People say things about this president every day. And it's a democracy. Insults. One Sean Temple, every morning, his job is just to insult HH. Every morning, you check every posting. It's the HH, I told you, he calls me Uyundani, you. <laughs> and I read. I must tell, tell Sean Temple, I read. But I just smile. I just laugh at it. I have more important things to do. I don't even pay attention to them. I love. As I told you, one of them said the coup happened next in Zambia. I already covered that issue. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? This is, this is serious craziness. Eh? So, there is democratic space here. What you are seeing is what ha we had lost. Because we are enforcing the rule of law, now those guys who are breaking the law believe that uh, this is abnormal. What was abnormal became normal under the PF. What we are doing, which is normal, is now is looking abnormal to them. That's where the problem is. That's where the problem is. The Public Order Act is in Parliament and is being reviewed. We have taken.
taken it to court again, sorry, to parliament the first time in 30, 40 years. We've taken, in fact, not in 30 years, since colonial time. Except, let me be correct, one Mulundika who took it, a unique person then, to court to amend one or two things. So this is the second time. And that was amended via the Supreme Court ruling. But this time, we have taken it to Parliament ourselves. But law and order is not equivalent to anarchy. Chilana, the day you become president, my friend, you realize you are responsible for both sides of the coin. Democracy and space is two sides of the coin. Where your rights end, someone else's rights start. Surely, that's natural justice. To, to go and say we are going to break shop right in town and burn it and invite people to take goods in there. And that is freedom and that democratic space. And the police know that that's what you want to do. And then you go in town and do that. It will be an irresponsible police and Home Affairs Minister. Absolutely. Let me remind the gathering here. The British government has just brought back the Public Order Act. The British government, in the last three months or so. Why? Because people were toying, toying every day. They were in the streets of London every day and breaking property, beating people. Prime Minister Sunak said, no, 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 no. This is anarchy. This is not democracy. This is not rule of law. This is nothing. This, this, is, this is anarchy. And they've now amended their laws to restrict anarchy. It's there. Check. You know, me, I scan my eyes globally, regionally, to see what's going on. So that doesn't mean the British people have taken away democratic space. The British people don't want other peace-loving citizens to be inconvenienced out of Upper Brook Street every day. Those of you who know London well, I lived in that part of London, Upper Brook Street, uh, Park Lane. Every day, toy, 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 and you can't produce. Look at South Africa. Every day, toy, 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 toy. Burning Woolworths, because the Woolworth belongs to a Jewish person, and because of the Gaza, Gaza and Israel war, you organize in the name of democratic space, you go and burn Woolworth shops. Can we afford to ban shop right ourselves? Or to ban Zambi shops? What are we doing? I thought I should spend a bit of time around there to distinguish between space, democratic space, constitutional right, and anarchy. Two sides of the same coin. Let me be also candid. When I was in opposition, maybe you've forgotten, I suffered the most. There's no politician who was alive, who was persecuted the way I was. Let me be direct today. I am the one. I am the one who got tear gas every move. I'm the one who got live bullets every move. One bullet meant for me took away Joseph Kaunda. Ten hours in the morning, around police headquarters there, high court area, took out an innocent 23-year-old life. That bullet was meant for me. Joseph Kaunda. Another bullet went to Nsama Nsama. In case you have forgotten, Chila. Through you. Th that community section, that things like that. I've talked of the bullet in Chingola. I've talked of Sun FM rooftop there. I think Sun FM is here. They were there. Your colleagues were there. I had to go through the roof. There is no radio station that has been closed under us, and none will be closed, or television stations. So, what are we saying in this society? Which country do we live in? There are by-elections that have been announced now. People filed. No problem. They will campaign. No problem. Whoever wins, that's democracy. It's okay. We lose tomorrow, we win another one. We don't have to fight. When I was in opposition, Chile, 
I did not allow my members to go in the streets to fight. 2015, we think our election was stolen. The first thing I did was to hold a press conference to say, you don't go in the streets. You want to be president, you can't allow your members to go in the streets and break the nation down. What are you going to lead? Which nation are you going to be? Look at how the debt is creating problems for us. Now add a country in smoke. 2016, we think our election was stolen. Again, I told my members, do not go in the streets. Actually, they thought I was not worth supporting because I was a coward. I said, oh, you think HH is a coward? Then you don't know him. Then you don't know HH at all. You think you know him, you don't know him. God gave us certain things, but not fear. But it's responsibility. You don't ban your country in the name of democratic space. You want to ban Simpson building. Who is going to rebuild it? Who will compensate him? Because I asked, I went to court. I didn't go in the streets. I went to court in 2016. I was never heard against the Bill of Rights, the right to be heard. I was never heard. Our petition was never heard up to now. By the same people saying there's no democracy in space. <laughs> Never heard. But I have the right to be heard. It's a bill of rights. Did I go in the streets? No. We just worked harder and harder. And realized where the loopholes are. We sealed them. We won the election. Today the country is peaceful. There's democracy. There's no law and order. Not anarchy. See like that. Wait now. So, let me ish, talk about the issue of sh causing trouble in PF. I'm not a PF member. <laughs> I've never been PF. How can I go and cause problems in PF? I'm an outsider. Maybe this lady is doing it. She's an outsider. It is incorrect to shift one's problems to other people. Honestly speaking, PF have their own systems and processes, and they have not started today. They started a long time ago, 2014. It was mayhem to select a successor to President Sata. May he so rest in peace. There were fights. There were pangas in Kawe there. There were parallel elections there. One for ECL, one for Miles Amber. 2014 for the 2015 elections, Shilana. We were in opposition. How is it that we, we influenced that blood, blood lady? That lady was, was PFD. She was beaten in the car with her. There she is seated peacefully there. She's not even afraid of any attack. Ask her what was happening in 2014. The election was in 2015, January, but 2014, it was mayhem in beef. That's how they select their leaders. It's not our culture. <laughs> it's not ours. I'm afraid. Don't bring the smell to me. Take it to the owners. That's their smell. It's not my smell. So now I smell. I must also tell you something which is true. It's difficult to run an opposition party. I know it. You need discipline. You need patience. When we were in opposition, Chilala, PF took away every vice president we were appointed, they took them away. Yes. My Deputy Secretary General is there. He took away my National Chairman. He took away Vice President Simenda. Two, three, they took away Vice President Capita. He's there, he's alive. He's there. Took him away. I was with him in Seoul, in Northwestern, we were touring before the 2016 election. He says to me, Mr. President, I have an emergency in Osaka. This one. I'm in Northwestern province. Who's in the emergency in Lusaka? What's happening in Lusaka? He leaves me. The next thing he's left me. 
I'm campaigning in his province and I need him the most, he defects to PF. Did you ever hear me criticizing Kapita? I simply said, I wish you well. That, that's my standard answer. I never pointed a finger at PF. Next, who do I, I find now two, I said, let me put two vice presidents now. <laughs> One goes, one remains. <laughs> right? Who do I put? Kanisha's Banda and the GBM. Hemingala to you. First to go, it's Kanisha's Banda. Mutenga na Next, the man who said, I will never go back to Pil, Marus. Tedinje Kumarus. GBM was gone. <laughs> Did I say anything bad against Capita, Semenda, GBM? No. Standard answer. Wish you well. Maturity. Understanding. You need to be, your heart must be big in opposition. Eh? Because some people can't wait. They can't be patient. They like things now. I never demonize any of my colleagues. I simply wish them well. I think the history is there. The records are there. I never pointed at people. Why are they pointing at me? I'm not Miles Samba. Miles Samba is a PF member. The same fight that there was in 2014 between Miles Samba and ECL is just a reincarnation of what happened in 2014. Almost. That time they split into two groups. That's what he said. So, how do I come in, my dear colleague? This is unfair, colleagues. This is incorrect. We have no business in choosing who runs PF, or who runs Socialist Party, or who runs Citizens First. These are entitled to participate in politics. How they organize it, their culture, is their business, not ours. I must say, honestly speaking, I feel we are being shortchanged. But I'm just quiet. I don't talk. Because if I talk, I will lose the time I need for debt restructuring. I will, no, I will lose the time I need to fix free education, to fix CDL. That's my attitude. So I, I really think that uh, media. It's unfair sometimes to run these narratives. I've been watching press conferences, uh, briefings, uh, and, and you know. But if PF are fighting for succession in Chile, they must do it within the law. When they start fighting at their secretariat and beating each other, the police will move in. That not, must not be misunderstood to mean that. Uh, the president of UPND and the Republican president is interfering. No, that's law and order. If you beat your wife, are you married? Try and beat your wife one day, the police will be there. Could it be a about the marital issue here? Uh -uh. At that point, it becomes a breakdown in the rule of law. Simple. I think I've illustratively, uh, let me thank you for asking this question. I think I never really had the opportunity to say, to clear the air. I hope today I've cleared the air. I also want to thank Paul for asking this, that question. Because I've been, you know, sm smittering here, there, a bit of simmering here and there. I said, now what is the issue with these people? Am I not a citizen of Zambia to be a president? Where will I aspire for office? Where? If I can do it here, anyone can be president of this country. Anyone. That's a law. Anyone. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.